Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Null Streams Dang in Ramps. We, it's been a hot minute, but at least we left off after, like the right after a trial, so we didn't really lose anything, did we? Yeah. Oh boy, people are dead. A lot of people are dead. People, the people that I actually cared about. So. Ooh, we're gonna run out of characters real fucking quick. Mmm! Mmm, that's delicious. That's right, common ordinary progression would have been just fine, like some sort of video game. Like, for example, the enemy's lair coming right after you defeat the final boss, your dead friend suddenly reappearing as a giant kick-ass fucking robot. Would have been just fine if friends had progressed like that. That's kind of old-school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. Yes! Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! Ah, oh, so fucking rad! Nekomaru? Is that you? He's a <laughs> sick fucking robot boy! No matter how you look at it, I'm still me! No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all. It's just him, but he's a sick ass robot now. Sheesh! You guys are strange, though, you all have such big wide eyes! I, I I saw your comments, Stoutzu. Fucking that, that game's fun as fuck. I'm I'm glad I'm playing that now. <laughs> I'm gonna fall in love with this metallic body of mine. <laughs> I already know what you want to say, so by looking at your eyes. And again, I am a former team manager. <laughs> Why are they all freaking out? This is rad as hell. You. Hey man, don't go scaring Miss Sonya with that strange ass mask. I already know. That's he's no, he's a robot. Yamaro! Hey, hey! Hey, why won't it come off? Are well, you freaking kid no, he's a sick ass fucking robot now. He's a bitch and ass fucking robot right now, man. It's, oh it's fucking Oh, that's cool. It's not just for show! Pure electricity! I have been reborn as pure like there's no way this isn't a fucking simulation. Like, Sissy, like like Dosh. You've been go every time I brought up the oh it's a simulation thing, you fucking screed and scrawled until Like until I stopped talking about it. But you cannot tell me that you look at this and you go and you go. Yeah, no, that's realistic. No, this is a fucking simulation. Because <laughs> after all, their bodies would just be representations of data. If you're seriously Nekomaru, that's my fault, right? You end up getting a body like that, it's all my fault, right? S sorry. Go man aside, Nekomaru. I don't know how to get I don't know how to apologize for that. Yes, Akane, but he's been upgraded. Nowadays they call it the Rumbler. <laughs> Don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? He is an immortal god being now, Kazuichi. <laughs> you keep setting the small stuff. You're gonna end up getting more gray hairs. Hey, hey. Uh, comment on every little thing he does is a waste of time. Hey. But you're really Nakumaru, right? You came back for us, right? <laughs> That's right. I've resurrected in the depths of hell in shining silver. I arrive in Valhalla, shiny and chrome! <laughs> How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch! How can you accept their body? Oh. It's better to just be alive. Yeah, almost if you should be thankful for what you got! Huh? Nani? Huh? It's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight! Show some spirit! It doesn't matter what happens to my body, not one bit! Oh, right, well, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm not playing Despair Girls then, Jesus. He just slides up that hatch in his thing, it's an easy bake oven. Now who wants brownies? Amazing! Fucking god damn it, he is just fully erect. Better just be alive. I do understand what Nekomaru was saying, but no matter how he makes sense of this, it's just too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie, this is Riat. Womp womp. 
Can something this explainable, unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No, instead, why did this happen? Um, I mean, I'm glad that he's fine, right? I mean, we just uploaded Nekamaru.exe to a new body. I mean, Christ, we got robot body. I mean, they've got robot bodies for everyone in the back. Odd. Right? Nekamaru definitely came back to us, and he's now an immortal god being, so I mean... What's this? My, my, am I interrupting your sp touching reunion? Oh, uh, yeah. Why is Nekumaru a robot? Hey! Of course, um... it was truly difficult to save Nekumaru from the jaws of death. You don't call me the psychopop magician for nothing. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh my goodness, such a, such a oh, wait, wonderful good. before and after has occurred. I wish they'd warn me if they were going to do voice acting or not. <laughs> It appears to be too dramatic! Thanks a lot, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares! Hey, hey! If you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to the other stuff like your self-awareness and... Fool! <laughs> Fucking... It's almost as if you're all programs to start with. No matter what shape or form I take, I am Nekumaru Nidai! Is he... Is he going to power the rest of his life with new abilities? Hmm... Jeez, this technology is insane! I've never seen or heard of anything like this before! Almost as if we're in simulation. Phew! Why the commoner considers advance is not much of an achieve advancement. If you think advancements exist in col if you think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> the real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey! And you're saying that's you? Were you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him. <laughs> you stupid stuff, toy! Don't go screwing people's bodies like that! Akane? Have you just- Did you just not wear a bra? Like, I thought she had a bra. Like, and we just didn't see it because it was like a low-hanging one. But no, she's just- Like, her titties could flop out at any fucking moment. Holy shit. What? Hold on, if you harm Monokuma, you're gonna- <laughs> Oh, you intended to find me yet again? You're quite the barbarian. Disappear! Jeez, this time you definitely will fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka! What? Once again, the world shook and turned stark white. He's bazooka proof! That didn't phase me at all! Check it out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all! Oh my god, he's actually a fucking god being. Hey, hey. Are you fucking serious? He took that blast and doesn't even have a single scratch. <sighs> oh, this is great. Makamaru has no weaknesses! Oh my Christ. <laughs> Kazuichi, I'm pretty sure that kills him. Hey, you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insides? No, thank you! <laughs> if I get disassembled, I'll end up dying. I thought I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekamaru is killed, he's still gonna count as a murder, okay? Of course! Of course, possibly Nekamaru might kill someone instead. <laughs> that will never happen! <laughs> well, with that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip together! Let's get along! It's impossible. Robot friendship! Um. In that case, it'll be a bit as a burden for Nekamaru. Sheesh! He's a fucking sick-ass, badass robot. I'm sorry, I can't really tell the difference. Uh-huh. Well, this could just a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. Ooh. And the hard-boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. Hey. You're totally destroying the genres. <laughs> oh, well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fun. <laughs> fucking 10 out of 10, Robomaru.
Yes, it's all yes, yes. Foreshadowing, none of that. No, all the all those uh, tried and proven uh, storytelling things. Nah, fuck them. Get them out of here. We don't need that. We don't need that shit. The fuck is this Disney World shit in the back? The ultimate robot's dream of clockwork. Oh jeez. Anything can be real in a simulation. The next morning, we gather at the hotel restaurant like we always do. I am Bender. Please insert Girder. Man, the food today was awesome as usual. <laughs> oh. Thank you for coming. Verify a trash animal. Harma XX. Harma XX. As always, you sure do eat a lot. I'm re I feel relaxed just by looking at you. It's important not to worry about it. No matter what, it feels really strange. It's not something I'll get used to easily. Hey, hey. Hey, what are you going to do, Mechamaru? Mechamaru? You're used to him already? <clears throat> what am I going to do? Mm. For food, you need, like, oil. Hey, hey. Regular, premium, unleaded. Like, she just opens up her coat. She's got a bunch of it. As a fellow, as a f fellow artificial being, I got you covered. I mean, totally normal high school student. Hey, Yonder. Well. Nah, he doesn't need oil. Since he's pure electricity, maybe he's battery powered or something. <laughs> I could totally eat normal food, especially rice dishes. I can't keep my eyes off them. <laughs> However, I've been feeling a little down today, so I don't have much of an appetite. Alright! He's already said disassembling equals death, Kazuichi, you fucking moron. No means no! <laughs> Stop molesting him! Sorry. I'm sorry. I should know my place and not speak out of turn when everyone's gathered like this. But I just wanted to make sure I picked you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Hmm. The person Mikan called her beloved. I can't help thinking about that and won't get out of my head. What? Am I just a coward for worrying? Yes, you are. Let me tell you this. It crossed my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it. So this is the end. This is really... Now I can go to my beloved and be forgiven! Ah, uh, yes, her beloved is in space. I can finally see my beloved. Please forgive me as my hopes of finally seeing you die with me! This, too, must be the will of causality. Christ, there's like a fucking thundering and lightning outside, and it started just as the stream did. That's weird. It was as if you were speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. Like someone who was watching a video screen, perhaps. <laughs> and there's nothing to worry about. Fine. More importantly, we should be thinking about the Future Foundation, our enemy. That fearsome organization, also known as World Ender, is truly responsible for our imprisonment. If you flinch, and you will die! Then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority. Future Foundation. Hmm. That word, future. Gotta break in. Does it have anything to do with that ancient ruin? I mean, there's no doubt that symbol on Dora, the ancient ruin, was the Japanese word for future. Not neat. That's the case. It might be better if we investigate the ancient ruins again later. However, the more I think about it, the less sense it does make. Why would an organization secretly plugged in the world make us suffer like this? They went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Mm. Hey, Beef, what's up? Well, not only that, but it took away several years worth of memories of our lives in Hope's Peak Academy. For reasons that are also unknown. There's always something wrong with you believing something so unrealistic. Hey, hey! You're one to talk. But isn't that right? Hey. Really? I won't be fooled. I feel like the Future Foundation is actually the good guys. Like I think I said this before. I'm pretty sure Future Foundation is just Makoto and his boy and Makoto and his boys. Because it fits into my um. I think I said this before, actually, but I think, I, I mean, it fits into my theory that this is a simulation the Makoto and company are running. Because World Ender and Future Foundation don't exactly mesh all that much, right? So, if they're, if the, what the world they're ending is the tragedy world that we all know about. 
Even a childish organization blathering on ending the world won't accept someone like me. Man, nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? You think so? And there's the reason you're not a traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Huh? Who do you think is the most suspicious? It's obvious. I nomin- I- wait, fuck. I nominate Hajime. Really, my dude? Nani? Wow. Well, isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? No! Hey. Not just that, you're the only one here who still doesn't know what ultimate talent you possess. We're basing this on an outsider hiding amongst the group of ultimates. Hajime should be doubted right away. Huh? Really, my dudes? Why are you even listening to Komeda, for fuck's sake? Why is he not still locked in the sexnasium? <sighs> you shouldn't raise your voice like that. We might become even more suspicious of you, you know? Oh my fucking god, Komeda! Settle down! Stop fighting! No fighting! Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? That might be true, but... Alright, I'll handle this. Just leave this matter to me! What you mean? To eliminate this tense atmosphere, allow me to present you my new function that I discovered last night. Huh? New function? <sighs> Can you fly? No! It's not a conventional function like that, it's far more practical and novel! <laughs> now, let's go! Oh. <laughs> Is he crying toffee? Behold! Huh? Nekumaru is crying! No! Hardly, I'm not crying! My right eye dispenses cola! My left eye dispenses Roboy's Roybos tea! Behold! What a what an amazing robot. Are you kidding me? What are you, a soda fountain? And that will be a whole day we keep commenting on every little thing you do. Don't fuck with what the me. hell was Monokuma thinking giving you a function like that? You're so evil! That guy, he's definitely fooling around. Monokuma just toying with other people's bodies. <laughs> I too was modified by Monokuma, so I totally understand how Nekumaru feels. <laughs> but don't be depressed. You'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. I'll beat you up! Jesus. I'll kill till you die from it, you stupid rabbit. That's... That's, yeah, though, no, that's very violent, Akane. You're getting more violent as time goes on, Jesus. <laughs> you showing up at this time means it come tells you to feed another mono beast. Ta-da, you're correct. <laughs> Once again, you can visit New Islands. So I please say it's something to get along with everyone. <gasps> I ain't going, what a drag. Hmm? Yeah. Even if we go to the New Islands, it's not like we're going to find a way to escape this place, right? You are right. Rather, I feel that the opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a New Island. So it might be best if we do not go, yeah? Stay on the same island. I renounce you! Jesus. That's a misunderstanding, I was just... Lame! Ah, oh, jeez, how annoying! Unbeal. Just stay back and leave the rest to your big brother. I'll give an example how to lure these guys to you, little sis. Hey! Really? My eye itches. Didn't I tell you to stay back? What? What is this attack? <sighs> Last time he did this, he used Heaven's Door. He, like, he used a JoJo stand. What the fuck is this a reference to? This technique... It's impossible to defend against it or evade it. No one can defeat the Emerald Sma Emerald Splash. Roroni Kenshin. Okay. Special bleeding service. Since you guys are feeling down in the dumps, I'll make you guys so excited your noses will bleed. For the early investigations, I prepared a special treat that's completely different than before. Um, treat. Nice. Oh, you took the bait. I guess it's true. If you want to get a shot in out of the room, carrots work the best. Huh? Okay. What? What is it? It's an amazing treat. Don't wet your pants, we'll still give you, you just don't spray it on me. I've prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new islands. Miracle! Such as clues about the future foundation. Huh? <laughs> Such as parts may be useful for making a ship. Are you serious? No. And also, your student profiles from your time at Host Week Academy. Huh? So... So do your best to explore. Take care. Okay, how much of that is a lie and how much is real? 
Hey, hey. What should we do? You know. Our only option is to go, obviously. We might be able to go home. We have enough ship parts. Yep. I plan to go to a clue about the future foundation. We need to make sure to see them. Hajime. What about you, Hajime? Of course you're going, right? Look at your student profile. You might be able to find out what your shining talent is. Hajime. The ultimate fucking loser. Chance <laughs> me to clear any suspicions, right? What suspicion? I don't think anyone here doubts me. What? I see. Well, I have to go anyway. Yeah. See, you all prepared yourselves for the worst. I'm starting to get pumped up. Fucking Jesus. She needs to go muda 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 again. No. No. No spoilers, for fuck's sake. Stout Zeus, stop. Every single time you ask, and every time we have to say, no spoilers. I... If everyone is going, I shall accompany you as well. Hmm. There's all possibility the Monokuma set us a trap. We should be careful where we step. I can't help thinking something about that ancient ruin that might hold clues about the future foundation. We should start exploring the new island. Alright. Hippity hoppity. Get off my property. Ch -ch -ch with those spoilers. Uh. Alright, where are we going? Central Island. Oh man, it's fucking pissing down out there. Holy shit. Like, I just looked out the window, and it's like, no, the rain is coming down sideways. Like, shit. Alright. Alright, there's one. How many more islands you got? I should have, like, two more islands, right? Jeez. Yeah, that's right, yeah, the entire bottom row is just gone. Almost. Alright, there's... There's one. Oh. Oh. What just happened? It wants to give you something. Give you 100 mono coins, Ramune, and. Wait, Ramune? As in that fucking. Alright, and coconut juice. Goodbye! Okay. My pet just fucked off. My fucking, my fucking, my e-handbook pet just fucked off and left. Holy shit. How is something as pathetic as Mono be able to defeat a Mono Beast? No, it should be a waste of time to think about something like that. It's usually think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned that much of my time here. As I walked across the bridge, I started to see the scenery on the new island on the other side. Disney World! Is this an amusement park? Welcome to Disney World! You're like, this whole island's a giant amusement park. Looks fun, amazing, exciting, that thrilling. Just makes it look even creepier. No, it's Disney World! Horror House. Also, shitty me. It's a creepy looking building doesn't seem like it belongs in an amusement park. It's supposed to be a haunted house? Like Usami house. Nope. Boom. Shitty me. Hi, Sonya. Um. I don't really understand it, but this island certainly feels festive. Perhaps. If Kyoko and Ibuki were here, they would have had definitely enjoyed this. Yeah? I don't like this. What the hell is wrong with this island? Why is there any forcing us to kill each other? Dumbass. Such a bad taste. Monomy House! It's on top of the building, definitely says Horror House, but it's like whatever building used to be here was converted into a haunted house. <laughs> oh, this is where you lived. <laughs> Ever since he took away my magic stick, Watergoo has been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of an unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. No, just like, look what he did to my house! <laughs> this is too much, there's nothing good about this at all. This keeps up his remember me as the greatest character ever to become a one-shot punchline. 
Oh, hi, Usami. You dink. <laughs> How terrible is your teacher to cry in front of one of my students? That haunted house over there, that's your house? <laughs> it was, a monokuma kept bullying me and ended up like this. Uh... It's supposed to be cute, my house is supposed to be cute. Uh... You guys had your interest, but you cannot go inside. <laughs> Even teachers have a private site their students aren't allowed to see. Um... Also, you're a boy of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door open halfway, otherwise my mommy won't so... <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Like there, like there's actual like fucking lightning. Like the lightning is like right ahead, right above. Holy shit! If the, the fucking stream dies, you know I got hit by lightning and died and got freed from this fucking mortal coil. Holy shit! What am I saying? It's just a what if scenario, okay? Anyways, this is Monomi's house. Safe to say we're not allowed inside. So it's waste time to stay here any longer. I should hurry and go somewhere else. I'm gonna go inside. You can't! Yeah, alright. Gonna gonna do that. Alright. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna punch the collective Judeo-Christian gods in the face. Fucking gonna go up there. I'm gonna I'm gonna just have a fucking tag team. A tag team fucking wrestling match versus like Jesus, Muhammad, and Yahweh. And like Moses is a fucking officiating it. Like there's like fucking Nick there's like fucking like Nikola Tesla, Charles Darwin, and me. And then like versus fucking Moses uh, fucking sorry, sorry, Muhammad, Jesus, and Yahweh. And then like Moses is there and he's like fucking just in like a white shirt with a bow tie and he's just walking up. Like doing like the fucking gorilla walk. This amusement park's castle. It's mouse themed. There's a lot of different buildings, like things I could say about the building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all. <laughs> what? Yeah! My so the only thing I can't. Why did you make it after a mouse then? Ooh. Why is no. this castle mouse-like? Yeah. Mouse! Ah! Oh fuck. No, you know what the best part is? Like part way through, like fucking like w like one side gets tired and like fucking they like both sides get tired and they fucking switch out like an angel. I, I think it was what was it? They switch in like like uh, the angel Gabriel in like for one of the members, and then we tag out we tag out Charles Darwin for Jacob. <laughs> and just the and just fucking it's just Jacob's just like all right rematch motherfucker. Oh man, people that don't know the story of Jacob's Ladder, oh no, that that did not go over well, did it? Oh. Hi, Kubi! With your fucking moon runes! So for those of you that don't know, uh, the reason why Jacob and Angel Gabriel being a thing and having a rematch is because in the story of Jacob's Ladder, uh, Jacob is a- is wandering- is wandering, and he- Ja like, okay, let me let me let me just lay lay out some backstory. In a previous story, Jacob was so fucking hungry for blessings that he swindled his he swindled his brother, his dad, and God himself out of three separate blessings. Right? This is how hungry for blessings this motherfucker is. So he's wandering after being exiled by his by his dad and brother because he swindled them out of blessings, and he takes a nap. And then he wakes up, and he sees that, and he sees like a big fucking ladder coming down, right? A, like there's a big ladder coming down, and there's an angel climbing up it. And like, he's like, wait, if I if I can get, make that angel give me another blessing, right? And so he Jacob starts climbing up the ladder, and he's just like, hey motherfucker, give me that blessing, give me that fucking blessing. And he like grabs the angel and fucking pile drives him off the ladder. And they just fucking like battle for like what like thirty days and thirty nights. Yeah, until the angel is just like, all right, fine, fucking have a blessing, you piece of shit. And then Jacob's like, I, right, thanks, bro. It's a fucking like WWE like fucking ladder match, like a money in the bank match, except like at the top of the ladder is just a blessing. Like, dude, fucking, like as much as I fucking hate like j like like just like the actions done by, give me that fucking blessing. Like as much as I fucking despise like. Like, uh, the Judeo-Christian 
religions for, like, the amount of fucking horrendous shit they did to each other, themselves, and the people that had wanted nothing to do with them. They got some metal-ass fucking stories, right? Like, fucking... Like, all three books, the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, they're all filled with, like, some fucking horrific bullshit, right? Like, hey, here's this time where we genocided an entire tribe because we thought they talked funny, right? Like, that level of shit is in all three books. But at the same time, you go back far enough and you find their mythologies and you're like, Yo! Yo! Fucking, like, a guy wrestles a goddamn angel. Like, in a goddamn, like, WWE ladder match for 30 days and 30 nights. It's fucking dank-ass shit. Like, honestly, I kinda wish they weren't modern-day religions so they could be studied on the same level that Greek myths are. Because Greek myths are fucking downers. Like, Judeo-Christian myths, though, it's all, like, fucking... Like, it's like they fucking, like, just smoked acid. Oh, I know you don't smoke acid, by the way. That's, that's how fucking weird these myths get. What a couple of loudmouths. I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. Like, like it, it's actually fucking ridiculous. Like... Shitty thing is, most of the people that follow those religions don't even read the books. So they, so they don't get the cool shit. I, I'm not a follower of any religion, I've read all three. <laughs> and there's some actually dank shit. Oh, like the one time where, where Jesus got absolutely fucking shit-faced. And he wanted, and he wanted some figs, right? And, and so Jesus went to a fig tree, he's like, Hey! You fucking fig tree! Give me some goddamn figs! And like, his apostles came up and was like, Hey, uh, Jesus, um, it's not fig season, bruh. Like, figs won't grow for like another three months. He's like, But I'm the son of God! Grow me some figs, you fuck! And the tree didn't respond because the tree was a tree. And Jesus went, Alright, fuck you! NOBODY'S ALLOWED TO EAT FIGS NO MORE! And he fucking, like, has the tree cut down. Like, and it just, like, he, like, Jesus got really drunk and pissed off at a tree because it wouldn't grow figs for him just because he was the son of God. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. What a coincidence. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. No matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Miss Sonia's castle. Bro, she's the real deal. Miss Sonia's 100% pure princess lives in 100% pure castle. Don't talk so calmly about a castle you've never seen before. Gundam! I was just wondering. You! What? Is a mere human going to offer his opinion to me, an overlord? Fascinating, fascinating, you fiend! If you flinch, I'll, you will die! I'll play your game, you rogue! Come, tell me, try to satisfy my four dark devils of destruction. Yeah. That's right, those hamsters probably pass from mice, right? I mean, they could defeat Monokuma and Monami with your hamsters. How pitiful. I already told you, hamsters are merely their temporary form. A fiend like using capable of imagining what would happen once they shed their transient guises. <laughs> Alright, Night Arma. If you wanna catch the rest of this, uh, you can always catch the VOD on my, on my YouTube channel. Linked down below. Ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to converse with humans for once in a while. Once in a while. Gave me some random excuse that makes no sense, but I guess he doesn't want to put them in danger. Fucking, you fucking wee sweet babby boy. Chuck E. Cheese is Disney. Nakamaru, you're beeping. Are you okay? There's a strange mechanical sound coming from your body. I guess so, because he's a robot. It makes sense he makes mechanical noises now. That sound means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now, so shouldn't that be happening all the time? I see your body makes noises based on your feelings, okay. Why do I imagine that he sounds like when he's thinking he sounds like a dreamcast? Like we're just gonna be in the middle of a trial and we're just gonna hear <laughs> Like the fucking Dreamcast disc noise. And everyone just turns to Nekumaru and be, and he'll be like, I have an idea! <laughs> just now I've activated a new function! New function. Are you serious? This flight, can you finally fly? Yeah. Prepare yourself! Yeah. It, it opened? It's... What? Is that... A clock? I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. 
10 out of 10. Whether it's training, meals, or baths, there's no doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. Can you even take baths, Nekomaru? Man, it actually comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? Hold on. A cuckoo clock? Don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. Fool. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? Ah. The type of clock that receives radio signals so you can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. It's like it was an extremely accurate clock. Oh. Sorry, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> I have become a time lord. Man. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, you didn't need to install it inside your body. What? What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. That Monokuma, he's definitely toying with people's bodies. He just, he, it's, he's just become better. It's locked. Ooh, how exciting. I know, Stout Zoo. It's very dumb. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of the door. Yeah. Just think about it, it's so awful. Yeah. No, not mice. Mouse. Ah. Anyway, it looks like we can't go in. Alright. That's another one we can't go in. Well, shit. See, like this one, there's like way fewer inside areas, which is kind of disappointing. Roller coaster! I fully expect someone to die on the fucking roller coaster. There's even a roller coaster here. Well, obviously, this is an amusement park. <laughs> Too bad, it's still under maintenance. The ride isn't intense enough yet, so I'm gonna be powering it up like crazy. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's gonna write this anyway. Come on! Oh, I just read a prize for you. You're trying to bait us with a prize again. Hooray! Look forward to it, okay? Please, please enjoy the other attractions first. We should have finished the maintenance by then. Now I should come back here to check out the other areas. What am I gonna do? I think a bit more time comes. Hi, Akane! Yahoo! Roller coaster is the only reason to go to amusement parks. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. All right. It's apparently still under maintenance, but I'll be first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. Why do I feel like this is going to be a euthanasia coaster? I don't know. Just seems to me like something Monaco would do. He'd make a euthanasia coaster. A fun house. Oh boy, this can end well. Choo choo. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like a building out of a fairy tale, minus the creepy looking train. I really don't want to deal with Komeda's shit right now. It could be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Ah! Welcome to the Fun House! Fun House? Yes, indeed! For this train I'm conducting, I shall take you all to the Fun House! Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. There's no way I'm riding that thing. Ah! You'd never be able to ride it anyway. Hey, In order um, to get to the fun house, all you guys have to ride this train. All of us? So... If you want to try to go to the fun house, you got to assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your Bo body will be crushed asunder by then. Why? Obviously, it smells fishy. It's clearly a trap. So I'm never going to ride this thing. All right, I think it's time to head over to the roller coaster. Oh, thank God. Later, fucko. Not even fucking giving him time of day. Not even giving him time of fucking day, no. Welcome to the Euthanasia Coaster! Oh, everyone's here, yeah. good. Want me to tell hey, you? wanna know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride the roller coaster together. Hey, hey! I'm not riding that thing! I'm gonna tell you, I get crazy car sick, then you get to ride in the f in the in the back. Welcome! What? Welcome to the main attraction of this user park, the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster! Hey, hey! Is it really true we'll get a prize for riding this? Of course! Sure thing! What's the prize? No way! The prize after you ride this. This is bad. Do we really have to ride this together? What are you saying? Then I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? Shut up! No, Shut I'm not up. gonna do it! <laughs> now, now, it's got Now, now, it's gonna be fine! Their rides are sweet! I already know. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's a possibility the prize is going to be one of those shit parts, you know? Uh, that might be true, but... Um... Might I ask, where will this ride take us? Nope. It won't take us anywhere. It's going to circle around and come back here. 
What is the meaning behind that? You, you feet, have you never gone to amusement park? I am ashamed. I'm embarrassed to say we do not have these in my country. My country outlawed fun in 1937. Round about the time, round about the time we got, we, we adopted this brand new ideology that was all the rage in the center of Europe at the time. I forget what it's called, though. Fine. I see, I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. Listen but it was well. an amusement park in the hell filled with man-eating demons. Huh? Huh? There's a new, there are amusement parks in hell? Wow. I have never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Hey, hey, hey! Ah, yes! The most evil place in the entire continental United States! Hell! Massachusetts! <laughs> the entrance fee is the blood of a virgin! I shall offer up your blood as substance as trip Fuck, as tribute! That is... Oh, that is a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used- Oh! 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 Kidding me? Wait, does that mean Miss Sonia? Hey, everyone's just gonna be wasted if we stand around like this. No, actually, I think there's actually a town in Massachusetts called Hell. See? Be gone, thought. <laughs> oh no, hang on. I mean, I I need to have like. Be gone. I just need to have that on a button. You know what? Now for something... Now for something completely different. Hold up. That was required. Why don't we just try writing it? That's obviously wrong. Hold on, why do we just have to try writing it? <laughs> now, Kamara, can I leave this to you? Understood. Leave it to me! Hey, 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 hey! Please let me go! Ah! Let me go! So I desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuffed into the roller coaster. Now then! All aboard the great ultra delicious coaster! Oh, and I don't get to grab the Monokuma, fuck. Why did I think Velvet's brother was a girl? Because it looks and sounds like a girl. Like, fucking, for those of you who haven't seen... Uh... For those of you who haven't seen the fucking Tales of Berseria thing yet... Um... Fucking... I might as well just use my own fucking video. Hang on. Alright, see you, Mateo. Jesus. Getting rough out there, dude. Fucking... Oh, God, where is that video? Where is that fucking video? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Where where is Lapis set? All right, here it is. All right, so this is Lap. This is Lapis set. Time to wake up. Uh, okay. See, that looks better. Why did it look like shit? That looks like a little girl, and it sounds like a little girl, and the name is Lafisette. Grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Like, the name is Lafisette, it looks like a girl, and it sounds like a girl. Medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? 
Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry. Exactly! Laffy, Laffacet, long blonde hair, voiced by a woman. Alright. Fuck it! It looks like a girl, it's a little tiny baby trap. With Monokuma's shell, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. Yeah. Why is he in the middle? Did Chiaki fall asleep? Chiaki's like, oh boy, throw run! Why is he in the second row? He should be in the back! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! What overwhelming G-force! It feels like all the screws in my body are gonna fly off! They are falling off! Jesus Christ, you're going to die! Be still, my heart! This is so much fun! I can feel the blood leave my body! I, I, I'm gonna die! Let me die! Yes, indeed! Alright, we've arrived! How was it? Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, let's go on it one more time! One more time! One more time! Fucking Akane is... Akane is me when I'm at fucking, like, a, a place with roller coasters. Like, I remember, like, when I first went to Bush Gardens, I got on, like, fucking... I think it was, like, Shikra. And I, like, I got off it, and my sister was like, uh, I don't feel so good, because I'm a wee tiny baby bitch who loves communism. And I was like, one more time! One more time! All right. Needless to say, I went on that shit alone. While she sat there reading the Communist Manifesto. Stop it! No frigging way! Hey, hey. Hey, my boy, where's our treat? Yes, indeed! Oh yeah, right, here we go, the treat is a file! Huh? A symbol! It's the same symbol on the door of the ancient ruin! So this file must be... Akane is fun as hell, even though she's really, really, really dumb. She just, she just owie round, round two. So this file must be... File from the Future Foundation. We'll be able to find out who they are, we look at this? Hey, is that alright if I check inside? Here! Yeah, whatever you like. Gather on Nagato's receipt. Uh, they received the file. He then, proceed to, he then proceeded to eat it. Oh no, I ate the file. Hey! There's the original class! It's all the original game! I spy at your hero! Ozbeak Academy ironically became the site for the killing school life. Mass went behind the plan, locked the students inside the academy, and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to their limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days. At a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind, who paid with their life! With this, the six students who survived were also able to escape the academy. Wait! Hey, oh, the photos on the left? The photos of six people who survived? Then what does this mean? Is he in the photo? Nani! He was much thinner as if he was an entirely different person, but... Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute, hang on. Hang, hang on a minute. Something about something something seems off. I don't know what. Hang on, hold up one minute. I gotta download this fucking image because
Oh yeah, Argus is annoying. Something is off, and I don't know what. Like, they didn't change the art style, did they? Like, maybe it's just the extra weight, but... Yeah, the hair color's wrong. The hair color's wrong. His eyes look more green here. Meanwhile, they're bright blue. It's the wrong length. That's not Byakuya. That's not Byakuya. Unless this is like... So yeah, then the glasses are wrong. Because Byakuya's glasses, like... Yeah, they're wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Kyamdo, yeah. Like, I wouldn't- I wouldn't have noticed it unless I was- unless, like, I'm looking at it side by side like I am now, but... No, this is... No, because the st- the- the-, the no, because... No, it's the- no, like, the style- the- the- uh, Sorry, the art style hasn't changed at all. Yeah, this- it's not- this isn't- this isn't Byakuya. Someone was... Someone was pretending to be Byakuya. Also, his cufflinks are wrong. See, Byakuya wore his cufflinks... Like, and what, going up. This guy's cufflinks are worn going down. Uh, no, this is, a uh, Toko... F uh, Toko. Uh, she's, um, if anything, personality-wise, she's more like, uh, Mikan. But... The ears are also the wrong shape. Like, maybe you could put this down to him being fat, but... But no, like... Byakuya's uh, ears come to a point. This guy's ears are entirely rounded. Nose points up instead of coming right down. Like, there's some things you could say, oh, he's just fat, but... He did. He did. I forgot about that. Whoever whoever this guy is, he's not Byaki Togami. I don't know who this is. Which can only mean... Which can only mean that someone was sent in to pretend to be Byakuya Togami. Now that... It doesn't fuck up my theory, but it does add a strange twist. Was the guy pretending to be Byakuya working for the Future Foundation, or was he working against them? Or was he just an innocent bystander pretending to be... Pretending to be Byakuya? I don't know, like, I don't know, the... Because we are dealing with Ultimates here, so maybe he'd be like, I don't know, the ultimate... The ultimate disguise artist or something. Like, the ultimate spy, or something like that. Because that would be an interesting twist. The ultimate rat bastard. His also his speaking patterns are a little bit different, but I always I I I just I just assumed that that was um I assumed that that was because he he kind of found his conscience and stopped being an asshole. Interesting. See, yeah, so I'm talking about so that's what I'm talking about, Stout Zoo. His behavior was different and a lot softer and nicer. But I assumed that was because he was in another killing game. He was in another killing game. And, um... And was making up for his fuck-up. Because remember, he's the one who got Chihiro killed. He, no, he, didn't, he didn't get Chihiro killed, but he certainly didn't fucking help. 
That too. So, appearance-wise, he doesn't- he looks close to Byakuya, but side by side, it's very clearly different. Minor details on his costuming are different. His... His- his family pin is wrong. Like, it's harder to tell because there's this gradient in the way, but... The family pin... The Togami family pin doesn't have a white border. Interesting. Ah, oh, it's the exact fucking one. God damn it! His yak, his yakuzi pin. Yeah, Biakia's Biakia's family pin doesn't have a white border. It's it's entirely black. You exactly like him, the first victim on the island. What? This definitely looks like Biakia. Impossible. Why is Biakia's photo in here? So, all right, Jesus. God Prophecy activate. Biaki is not really dead. Someone died in his place, or was in was impersonating him from the start. But whose side they were on is up to debate. Hey, 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 hey! Like, what's this killing school trip they're talking about? Yep. Like, the killings were involved in resembled a set of killings that happened before, and that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Hey, bastard! Hold up, did these fucked up killings actually happen inside the Hope's Peak Academy? It's obviously it's not impossible. possible! There's no way the teachers or the police would let that happen! Let me ask. And what of the Future Foundation? World Ender was the one who initiated this. What? Of course not! Not allowed? How stupid! <sighs> if Byakuya were still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. How unfortunate. However... It's almost like you shouldn't have got him killed, Komeda, you fucking twat! However, we lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Byakia as well. However, Byakia never said a word about such a past actually existing. Let me tell you. Well, he was this. killed before he could. But he became the first victim if Lori could tell us about any of this. So perhaps that's what Byakia was planning to talk to me about. Hey. As long as Byaki is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does this killing school life that occurred in Hosuke Academy relate to this island? Hey, um... The only thing I can say is... It's All true. the answers are in your school memories that were taken away! You? Then give them back! No, no! No, no. Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Also, assuming he's taking the tr telling the truth... The Future Foundation took their memories away, that leads to my thing, to my hypothesis that these guys all fell to despair in the past, murdered a bunch of people and helped Junko take over, and caused the tragedy. And then when Makoto gets out with all his friends, he sees them running around doing despair shit, and he's like, no, nope, none of this shit, none of this fucking shit, captures them, wipes their minds back to before Junko fucking fucked with them, Puts them in a simulation. That's the theory. A game theory! Thank you, bit. Impossible. Regardless, it's unforgivable! I'll never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed! Uh, hey! Never mind, let me go back home. Where the hell are my ship parts? Who knows? Oh, and I should be somewhere on the island. However. No, the fun house should still be left. This too. What I've heard is these we cannot access unless we are all gathered together, correct? Correct! Ding ding, correct! Try the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the fun house. Hey! And the ship part should be there too, right? Game three. Oh god, fuck game three. The game three does nothing but piss me off. Like, I swear to god. Like. Like, every single Game Theory episode, I watch it because I want to deconstruct it, but every time I do, my comment gets deleted. Because Matt Pat a fucking, a fucking shit. Uh, or at least the people who handle his comments are. Like, Austin... Austin is better. But still, like, he kind of ignores the realities of the, of the games he looks at. So, like, he recently did a thing where he was like, 
oh, Azeroth in World of Warcraft is completely fucked because Sargeras put the sword in, but he treats Azeroth as if it's a normal planet instead of a world soul. Like, by, Az by World of Warcraft's own lore, Azeroth is hollow. Like, you have, like, the outside bit, go the outside bit, and then directly below that, like, below the cross, it's essentially hollow, and you have Deep Home. Yeah? And then you have the core, which is, um... Which is, uh... And by the way, the, uh, the hollowness of it is held up by the world pillars, so that's basically magic, so... And then you have the core core, which is Azeroth, which is the... Which is the baby titan that lives inside. But he treats it, but he goes through that video and he treats it as if like it's a regular ass planet with like a core, a mantle, and all that. When it when it doesn't, like there is lava inside it, yes, but it's all essentially like, like you have the you have the crust, you have like a little bit of mantle, and then you have another crust, and then you have deep hole. How did you hit the hollow? Uh, I don't think there's ever actually been a size given for Azeroth, and I, if I remember correctly, he was using in-game in-game measurements to judge how big Azeroth is, which is wrong because Blizzard has said that the that the world is at a between like depending on the zone, it's at a between one tenth and one twentieth scale. Exactly. So, depending on where you are, the world is either at a one-tenth or one-twentieth scale. Like, for example, Elwyn Forest is supposed to be about the size of the Barrens, I think. But in-game, you can cross- like, in-game, it's like you can cross it in like less than a minute. He's using the cinematic. Did he actually give- I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember, but did he actually give a size off the planet? Because we don't actually have a height for, for Sargeras. We don't. And even then, like, using, to comparing the sword used in the cinematic and the sword used in-game, that sword is- that sword is, is victim to the, uh, 1 120th, 1 100th scaling. Yeah. So, the sword in the cinematic is going to be bigger than the sword in-game. Uh, originally yes, but he can change his size because he's a titan. Yeah, I know, that's why, that's why I'm saying. Like, you cannot compare scaling in cutscenes to scaling in the game world. You can't do it. Titans are made- yeah, like, a planet is like a titan egg. And, it's, and seeing as titans are ephemeral beings, they can be as big or as small as they fucking want. Includes our Hope Academy student profiles. Means like my clue about my talent should be there too. Azeroth is bigger than Earth. That is that is the one thing that we know for certain. Azeroth is a bigger planet than Earth, but we don't have an exact measurement for it. Because if I remember correctly, like, a di one day on Azeroth is about something like 28 hours? So... Yeah, we we don't know we don't know we don't know the scaling being used. Like, we don't know the exact size of the planet. Like, there's a lot of variables that we don't know that he just assumed, as well as assuming that Azeroth is a planet not literally held together by fucking magic pillars. However. <laughs> yep. I can't wait! Mm. Oh yeah, also add in the fact that, yeah, that, and the fact that destroying Azeroth the planet, um, wouldn't necessarily kill Azeroth the Titan. Silithus is also surrounded on all sides by mountains. 
So the impact the impact would be essentially the sword plunges down, it strikes, but it's striking the bottom of a big bowl. So uh yeah, but the idea was he wanted to corrupt Azeroth and can and turn her to the dark side essentially. Um and if he couldn't do that uh, and she was born pure, uh, Azeroth would be able to basically curb stomp everything because Azeroth is a very special titan. She was, um, she's basically the oldest titan not to be born. So she's been gathering power for like the longest. She's like the last, the last world soul or something, I think, not to be born. Um, and also she's had a lot of power put, dumped into her by the other titans. So she's essentially a super titan. I think she's also the largest world soul, too. Because Azeroth is, like, a really big planet. Everyone says they're gonna go- I guess they're gonna go. I guess I have no choice. I guess I can't have to go with everyone. I shall engulf this Something you can trap is act of her madness. <laughs> That's what makes it interesting. You know, I wonder if someone actually did find... How big is- Because there was books made that did give out, like, stuff like that. But a lot of them were made non-canon. How big is Azeroth? Okay, so apparently, in je so but going by things in the books, and the books are canon. Um, someone did the math, and it comes out to being lore Azeroth, as in Azeroth if it was a real place, is between 140 and 180 times bigger than the in-game representation. So basically, take the overall size and times it between and times it by 140 and times it by 160, and the correct answer will probably be somewhere in the middle. Uh, and they did put a bunch of guards on the old gods. Only diff the only negative there being that people either fucked with them, the guards uh, abandoned their posts, or the guards were corrupted by the old gods. One of the three. Couldn't have, I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries. Didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. I was that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Uh, I realize most people don't give a fuck about WoW, but god damn it. Yamdo fucking got me rolling. I wanted to go... I wanted to go get the Monokuma, god damn it. No way! I really don't need to be cautious. You know, it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey! I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. All right! Please tell me this is a fucking roller coaster. Because we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. So yeah, like it basically like regular. Regular forces, like tectonic forces, wouldn't even put a dent in the fucking planet, even though the planet is hollow, because it's held together by the elemental planes and the world pillars that are held within, which can only be destroyed from inside those planes. It's held together by the old gods, it's, and it's held together by the uh, wound at the Well of Eternity, which is the Maelstrom. So... So you got three different sources of ungodly Ladies fucking and magic holding it together. This train is heading toward the funhouse. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory. Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. Okay, what's going to be the gimmick? Oh yeah, there's also that, because, um, yeah, yeah, that's also true about it. Okay, final thing I will say, Sargeras was probably aiming for Cthune, 
because Sargeras could kill Cthulhu. Killing an old god damages the world soul. Which, and the last time that happened, the Well of Eternity was made. And the last time the Well of Eternity happens, some Night Elves got together and summoned Sargeras through it. So if Sargeras was being yanked into the fucking Twisting Nether by Illidan, what would be the best thing for him to do? Kill an old god, make a Well of Eternity, and then hope that like a thousand years from now, a bunch of dumbass Night Elves make another portal for him to come through. Because it worked the last time! Is this gas? <sighs> Damn it. This was definitely a trap. So that's the last thing I will say about it, I promise. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our boys started to feel soft like mollusks! Our brains sounded like they were gonna melt into puddle of mush. Does this even affect... Nekamaru? In the end, we lost consciousness. Fucking elves, my dude. Elves are elves are the problem. Just burn burn down the fucking tree they live in. With them inside. Welcome to the meth dreams, Hajime. It's clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. <laughs> Where is this? Remember, when I looked over at Nekomar standing tall in the white sense, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Uh. Man, I slept good. Oh my! <laughs> Where are we? What? The hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. Uh, by the way, um, Beef, are you playing on European servers or American servers? I'm curious. Seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Uh, why are they sleeping in a place like this? Oh, I should go back see for a little while longer. Damn it! Why does everyone I know that play the game play on the wrong server? Ah! That's obviously wrong. No, don't. You seriously can't do that. What did you do to me? I assumed that this was that gas is doing. Damn it! That gas you were forced to breathe in right after the train started moving must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. They're... It's my fault for attracting a, a European viewer base. In that, in that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome to the strawberry house! Strawberry house? Is this in the fun house? Yep. Where's the fun house? Strawberry house is a part of the fun house. <clears throat> a port, you say? Allow me to explain! Ta -da! This is the Strawberry House in its entirety. You're currently in the indoor park located in the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment and strawberry designs. How fancy! Now, the next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like BOOM! The guest rooms are divided by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has a severe airflow and draft problems. That includes my explanation of the second floor. The last but not least, the first floor of the strawberry house. On this floor is a room called the Final Dead Room, and it's all like BOOM! You enter the Final Dead Room at any time, but it's extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's this hallway called the Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a BOOM BOOM! It's called the Strawberry Tower. Push your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of the Strawberry Tower is like. Oh, for fuck's sake, we changed the hub zone again. God damn it. Hmm. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Hmm? It's all for me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey! Okay, what's this? Why did we go in here? What do you... Great to place this. What are you planning to make us do this time? That's right! I have a lot of questions. Let's start with that one first. Hmm? <laughs> it's the motive this time. Yeah An escape game! In other words... The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hosu Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey, the only um, one way to get out of this closed space building. Viva when the killing, killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> you fucking dinguses. What the fuck? Damn it. This is troubling. 
How foolish of me! If only I directed a magic barrier, they wouldn't have had to breathe in the gas! Mm. Can you even- would the gas even affect you? Hey! <laughs> gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, I won't send- oh. He has a remote to make you go to sleep. Okay. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh. That's right, it's a cutting-edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? Because my other folks sleep even if I have insomnia! Hey, hey! Do you even need to sleep? <laughs> in order to wake from sleep, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. Tell a puzzle with just one touch! Jeez! He's not even listening. How pitiful. He only wants to live like humans as much as he can, such as the sad nature of robotic organisms. Jesus Christ. Man. It's so pink! There's not a single blue thing! Dizzy, like, you know, you know what would make this place, a, a, like, a lot better? A nice light blue, just some nice light blue accents, with some dark blue, dark blue main color. I'm not biased. Um. Anyway, Mechamaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it! What a blunder! He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. <laughs> I'll never let that happen again. Hey, hey! For now, why don't we look for the exit? But... Is there even an exit? I mean, there was. How this wouldn't be a closed space, right? I'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? We're brought inside this place, and there's definitely an exit out here somewhere! Amazing! Please, put your boner away, for fuck's sake. <laughs> well? It might be a blueberry house. You know what? If we find a blueberry house, then that's... That's the best place. By spying on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right. Then Akana, you can come with me. Huh? Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be? Huh? It's not, it's, not... it's not like I like her or nothing, Baka. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Uh... I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow. When you sat next to each other, there's a real noticeable height difference. Bastard! Drop it, bastard! You. Hey, yo, we're gonna go. Let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right, I'll go ahead on first. Those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia! Sonia, I guess time we also... However... Sonia already left with Gundam. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba. -ba -ba. Oh, my. Get fucking cocked, Kazuichi. <laughs> oh, you got dumped. Of course. Not. Idiot, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. Everyone wants to be my friend. It's obviously not true. Now then. I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Hey. Yeah. You step away from my girl! Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had just talked to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Hey, hey, hey! Really? Well... Hold on, Hanjo, maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor! Nani! <laughs> I was just... I just said what Kazuichi was fi- No. I mean... Well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. God, imagine if I'd done his fucking social link. Imagine if I'd done Kazuichi's fucking social link. Holy shit. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? That's obviously wrong. Like that matters, it's not like I know the real you. Like how we didn't know anything about me, Ken. The real me? Huh? The only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the fun house, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right. It's not that far fetched, you know. Uh. Sorry, and you're the one who wanted to go for boat parts, you fucking tw fucking twat. Hmm. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagato. No, Chiaki is mine! Ray! Ray! But you're saying Nagato is more trustworthy than me. What the fuck? Damn it, why? Fuck you, Nagato. You yep. piece of garbage. That's the case, that's what it is. Why didn't you come with us, Kazuichi? Hmm. Ah, uh, but. It's fine, Chiaki. No! Don't give up your woman! Yep. Got it, I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nagato all left together to explore the area. Huh? I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. 
It's not like complaining about it won't change anything. You're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh, oh that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, we will solve everything. We will stop trusting. It really sucks. It really sucks. All right. Well, no matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if the patterns continue, I might get sick of them. Oh? According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. It's like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> yes, you know, Hajime. Let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. You know what? I could use some soda right now. You know what? This is my best friend now. I'm just gonna walk up and pretend I'm hugging him, even though I'm at groin level. The Rumbler. Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. Did it hatch? Oh, I got another one. I got another fucking thing I'm gonna abuse. Go on the map, there should be guest rooms and the lounge on the second floor. Oh. Alright, I shall go explore the guest rooms! The lounge is all you! Yeah, I got it. The fuck? Hey guys! So this is the lounge. Souls are completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things I might be able to use. Like a gun! What the fuck? Izuru Karukura? Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. There was a placard on the portrait. Posting Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Ooh. Why would a portrait of someone important in a founder's Pope Academy in a place like this? Also, this name. So hard to pronounce! Oh god, he's gonna come come up later, isn't he? Hi, Gundam! How meaningless! I think this savage tone would confuse me! Go by four uh, dark devas of destruction! What the fuck? I wait if you inflating black dragon champi! Exert your strength to your heart's content! <laughs> I shall wait until champi returns with his report! He's had skillful control over his hamsters. He must really able. We might really be able to communicate with them. No, the headmaster was Kyoko's dad. I see. I see. Uh, this place is supposed to be a lounge, and it seems that I'd be. I may not be able to calm and relax in here. See, I thought the amusement park was in bad taste. But this is even worse. You are right. I agree. Monokuma's eccentric taste would shock even an Indian. Just because you're foreign doesn't mean you get to be racist, Sonia, for fuck's sake. If I can't make racist jokes, nor can you. <laughs> Demonetized. Shocking Indian, what the? Nani? Alright, so we got a clock. Nice a wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't gonna help things. Phone! Ah, oh, there's a telephone! In fact, there's a telephone- there's a phone in this building, it's clearly suspicious. Are we able to call someone with this? When I walked towards the telephone, I immediately noticed it. What is this? Instead of numbered buttons, it's just a single button with a grape on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Apparently, it's connected somewhere. There's no one picking up. Let me tell you. This. What a mysterious device! It might be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't care. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. Damn! Not here. Probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. 
It doesn't work like a normal telephone, and I don't even know where it's connecting to. This too must be the Jeez. will of Kazan. What's going on? A four dark days of destruction investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen. Why have you given up? This may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. Still too soon to give up. I leave that matter to. All right. I go in these rooms. What the fuck, Hugh? Wow, this thing's this place fucking sucks. Monica, you communicate with us. Reach vanish behind us. The fact that Monica sees the screen means he's their ally. Christ, this is fucking. Oh, jeez. All right, so what? Uh, what's in the good rooms? Hey, hey! Hey, what'd you want to talk about? Well, well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. I already know a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but hmm, when I look at you, I just have to say something. Oh, yo! What? Now spit it out. Hey. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? So. The only reason you're standing there right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like. Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. You. So. But like he says, better just be alive. It might hurt to look at this painful appearance right now. Damn it. But you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. Huh? Oh, are you crying? It's hard to tell because you've only got one eyeball. I. Right now, I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. So. But you're different, so. Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Fucking. RIDE THE RUMBLER! Huh? Okay, so what are you trying to say again? Quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. I gotta come back for that. Bieko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Kane didn't really understand. Oh, shit. And the deluxe room! That's a skull with lollipops. Well, that's just... Mmm. You know what would be, like, the most fucking mean... Th like, not even mean, just, like, the most fucking alpha fucking thing to do? Like, like, just even, like, in the original game, like, when you're in your dorm room, like, and there's a camera in there just looking down at your bed, just look up at the camera, just like, make complete eye contact, and just start fucking jerking it. Just like, butt naked, sitting on the bed, jerking it, staring at the guy, and staring at the camera. Like, that'd be like the most fucking alpha thing you could do. That makes sure that, that fucking camera is removed from your room next time. Final dead room. Allow me to explain! Okay. Final Dead Room is a challenge given to you by the Headmaster Monokuma. Only those with the life threatening game who win the life threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps! <laughs> now, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you need a chance to find a dead room. Okay. I'll do it. Let's go. Fucking. Thing is, I think Junko, like, would have actually been kind of freaked out. Because, I mean, she's kind of asexual. Kind of thing. Like, she doesn't really understand anything other than despair. And what's more hopeful than jacking off? It's practice for the real thing. Which means you're hopeful the real thing will happen. Oh? I see, so this is Strawberry Hall. Seems this place is filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. So I recall Strawberry Tower's on the other side of this door. Oh! Fool! <laughs> really, my dude? 
I really don't want to fucking talk to him. Unless you cry in the process. No, that's why you're just looking at the camera, like, making direct eye contact. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. Shit! When in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? You're a robot, my dude. Elevator? Oh, is this an elevator? Is that's weird? The only stairs here between this building's second and third floor. Do you mean there's a basement? It's a button next to the door. A grape. What happened if I press this? It's not reacting at all. Out of order. And when you get it, it looks like the elevator is it's the, to the next room. The next, the next house. Final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monica who did manage a li nest in a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not really worth playing at all if you get if you get a, if, you, if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Um, the other should be at Strawberry Tower in the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some speed. Okay, so I just had to fucking look at the elevator. Ah, for fuck's sake. No, but like if you're in if you're locked in an area if you're locked in a room and there's cameras looking at you all the time. Literally, it's like. Oh, you want to keep an eye out, do you? Fucking, it'd be like that, uh, like, I hate to, I hate to say it, because the fan base of this show is fucking awful, but, like, that episode of Rick and Morty where they're in that simulation, right? And just, like, to, in order to get some fucking privacy, Rick just walks around naked. You know, just fucking... Like, you, if you're really gonna want to play it this way, then all right, I'm just walking. I'm just gonna let my berries dangle. Now, this is Strawberry Tower, huh? This building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Sheesh! More of these bright red decorations. What a terrible taste! Huh? A name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, this is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Grape. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image. This is Master 1 in the lounge floor and also one in the first floor elevator. Oh? Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? Hey, look at the map we see from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the end of the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is on the other side of the door. Does that mean the exit is on the other side of the door? Alright, kick it down. <laughs> You are a fucking robot! Kick it down! Show some spirit! <laughs> Why not kick the door in? Let's see. Oh! Seriously. Fucking Jesus Christ. Nekomaru, just fucking kick the goddamn door down. We already established you're fucking gunproof. Is someone dead already? For fuck's sake. Oh Christ, what are you up to? Hiya. Here we get a general idea of Strawberry House's side. Huh? Strawberry House's side? Strange thing to say, it's not like there are other buildings. Of course! That's right, there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey! And hey. there's an elevator. It's a big mistake to think it moves vertically. There's an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Does the elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, the Grape House. Huh? Grape House. Hey! The Fun um... House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See? But we're going about the deals when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't, I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um... Then we must ride the elevator, right? Are we screwed? Yeah. Show some spirit! Yeah, alright. I mean... Fine, we just, just gotta get a spoon and just dig out. Just dig a hole. <laughs> of course not! Huh? Yeah. Alright, into the great glass elevator through the glass ceiling. Let's go. We stepped onto the elevator and off to ran off the grape house. Oh wow, fucking recycling this animation, but they made it autism speaks themed. 
Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. So. Hey. I mean, I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? It's probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not even moving. All right, let's open the door. Make sure. You must not. You cannot. This is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. Oh boy. This is even worse. I want to die. So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Okay, welcome to Grape House. Allow me to explain Grape House. What? Ta-da, this is Grape House in its entirety. So let's get explained in the first floor. This fact there's no final dead room. It's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like I have this Strawberry Hall over there, there's Grape Hall on this side. When you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a Grape Tower. Second floor of Grape House, same as the second floor of Strawberry House. There are five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. The main treasure of Grape House is obviously the third floor, the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature there. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand or explain with words. You should use your own two feet to check out the inside of this building. Hmm? That's all for me, Henny. Oh, Jesus, that'd be rough. Like... Is that a statue of fucking Sakura in the back? Huh? Is that necessary? Hey! Of course it is! <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? Let's have to use your stomachs as the time limit. Don't tell me. Oh, great. We're all going to starve to death. In other words... Akane is going to kill someone because she's going to starve to death. Yeah. It's kill someone before you starve to death. All right. Everyone, get together. We're going to fucking kill and eat someone. Lies. <laughs> hey! What? Damn it! Damn it. I don't want that! Sheesh! Fool! Hey. Jesus Christ, this, this is dumb. This is getting really dumb. Being loud isn't gonna hear is gonna help us, so for now we should experience the inside of the building too. Right? Like I just want Nekomar to like open his stomach cavity and it's like an easy bake oven. Who wants cupcakes? After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyihiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. Let's get started. The same pairings before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Like... She already left with Gundam. Mm. Get fucked. Hey. Damn right. Can I... Can I please... Zen. Have Chaki, please? I see. Show some spirit! Can I please have Chiaki, for fuck's sake? Why is there a statue of Sakura? What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, it doesn't fit the ambience at all. There's a name written on here. Ogre? Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? Why? I mean, I mean, this does kind of point to this being made by uh, Makoto and friends, because I mean, I mean, hey, because who out of that group would be like, hey, you know what? We should memorialize one of our best friends who helped us escape. And what friend would be better for that than Sakura fuck mothering Ogami? Some spirit. Huh? Huh? And the door opened. Hooray! And there's Strawberry Hall. There was that pause. Just like, why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. The structure is building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Don't you mean Nanako? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Nanako. Now, remember, she changed her name after getting taken away from her neglectful dad. Oh, jeez. 
The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Speaking of different, there's something very blatantly different over there. On the Grape Tower door in the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Mm. The opposite of Strawberry Tower. Alright, try and open this door then. Huh? So on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and the grape side, there's a strawberry door. It's even more complicated. Or this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. So obviously, by looking at this map, since there's most likely beyond the far back door grape house. So the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. Hold it. I heard you guys are discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? What did you say? Before we get to that, why are you- Wait, before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Were you with Nagato and Kazuichi? Yeah, but they're dumb. Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. Oh my god. I, I- Seriously, I was this close to just getting out of here. By that, I mean killing them. So you ran away. Yes! Why? Okay, Chiaki, why do you, why do you think it's pointless? Well, and that door doesn't even lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. <gasps> Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the funhouse's structure. Secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you really want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each other's relationship to his respective tower. Hey, hey. Let's try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry House is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you end up at Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right-hand side. If you walk along, you'll end up at Grape Tower. Now here comes the main point, with those two buildings... Whoa! Oh, for fuck's sake, Kazuichi, go away! Hey, hey! Fuck off! Hey. You... Man. That's right! This is troubling. Fucking... Kazuichi, can you just slit your own throat, for fuck's sake? Like, Kazuichi is pissing me off. He's quickly becoming more annoying than Nagito. Like, the annoying thing is, like, we're running out of characters that I like. Which is- which also happened in fucking the first game, too. But the thing is, though, the first game was way more charming. Hey. Shut up! Shut- Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick! I thought your investigations would take more time! Well, yeah. There aren't many re areas to search. We didn't find any good clues. Damn it. Right now, the only thing I found out is... I, there's seriously no food anywhere! This ain't funny at all! Damn it! We could always... If you kill yourself, Kazuichi, we can always eat you. Not Kazuichi. Like, fucking, like, someone just pulls out a fucking knife. Here you go, Kazuichi. Kill yourself for us and we'll eat you. You insolent fool! You imbecile, what are you implying? See, now she's never gonna like you. Ah! Is the seat of the triumvirate a particularly difficult dungeon? Uh, not really. Not really, in my opinion. I fucking hate Nagato. That was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark devas of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. Well, are the hamsters gonna be okay without food? I shall engulf Fortunately, the flowers girl. blooming in Strawberry Hall's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark devas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. Oh! Now, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. And... Can, can't humans survive on sunflower seeds? I'm actually curious. Because people can eat sunflower seeds. Can you survive... On sunflower seeds?
Okay, Quora.com. To live off sunflower meats, seeds alone, sustenance, no greens or meats or fruits. An interesting question. Let's look at the possibilities. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Okay. So I would answer your, to answer your question, I would say that short term it would be safe, but it would not recommend subsisting long term only on sunflower meat. It would not be safe or healthy to do so without other foods to make up the nutrition that sunflower meats lack. On a side note, as hasty as they are, I'm certain they would be boring very. They would become boring very quickly. So, all right, so literally just eat the sunflower seeds. Eventually, Monokuma will get bored and let you out. I just looked it up, Dodge. You can super survive on them. Just not for long term. So like maybe like maybe like two months maybe. But that but honestly after two months I imagine Monokuma would just get bored. Because I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but uh, she knows what everyone has to say. Now then. So find if Gundam for Yihiko and I represent our teams and give their reports. Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that your feet you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Alright, Gundam, what you got, friend? <laughs> now, then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you I won't let you this. say such nonsense like, I forgot, Monokuma said himself when we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey! Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Kneel. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice that destroyed the, of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this! <laughs> Behold a motor! It's a ship part! Based on the extremely small size, isn't that? It's a radio controlled toy. Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon. My existence is shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody ever brought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! Loser! It's almost as if coming here was a waste of time. And there's a single word about the ship being real, stupid idiot moron! You got bamboos, old kiddo. It's like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. Might be better if we leave him alone for a while. Maybe he'll kill himself and we can eat him. So it definitely was a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie. Yeah, it's 100% a fucking lie. Why did you ever believe him? But our situation is getting so grim, I can't really focus on that right now. Christ, okay. Boo, Yahiko. Damn right. Sure, the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has the guest room similar to the one from the second floor of Strawberry House. Okay. Hmm. But they're covered in great patterns, okay. Also, the like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in the strawberry house's lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in the grape house's lounge. Now then. Now, I'm guessing at this- I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button shows what each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows what each phone connects to. That's probably it. Okay, and who was the other team lead? Was- was it Nagato? Now then. Someone like me. Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good Which means it's not that important. Shut the fuck up and tell us, you piece of shit. Hey, bastard. Just see, every time he opens his mouth, I just get fucking annoyed. I hate him. Um... It's the point about the third, board, third floor grape house. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go in there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it's an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. Okay. Remind me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. And it looks like we don't ever need to go in there, ever. Actually... I also just found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. A lost child? What? Now uh, where did she go? Hey! <laughs> Hello! 
The lost child was you. Right? As I people react, right? Right? I had a general idea of how you'd react. <laughs> I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. How sad. It's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Um. And did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monomi? <laughs> yeah, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No! I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like. Nobody here considers you a teacher. <laughs> I'm also happy you're here. Huh? Are uh, you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No, 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 no. No! I'm expected to be food? Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Is them is okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well? I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower in currently and the strawberry tower in earlier. I think they're actually the same building. <laughs> The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see, and what makes you think that? See? There are positions. Well? Inside the Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when you're face back, facing the elevator, right? Um... But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? And so we think about that and put two and two together. The two towers are the same building, and each house connects in the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. Yeah. Monomi, Mon like, I do think Monomi gets a little bit too much hate. What? Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are the same building? But that might, ha that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that the strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? And in that same way, wouldn't the image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. That's because it mean the strawberry house is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. So why does the color change? As well as the opposite. The grape door leads to the strawberry tower lead the grape house. Meaning we opened the grape, ho grape hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either strawberry tower or grape tower. Perhaps... Which means when you look at the other side of the grape hall door that you used to come in here... Yep. Yeah, the great picture should actually be on here. Hey. We go do this confirm, right? If we can close that door from the other side. Mm. That might be impossible. Huh? Possible why? Well, Hajime and Nakamura were first ones to enter the Grape Tower, right? Oh. What's wrong with that? Well. When you two enter Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you press the button? Huh? See? So, just as I assumed. How did you know? Um, when I was working around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly, the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um... Oh, uh, is my credits? Yeah, I have a hundred credits, yeah. But why? Perhaps... The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed they can only open one at a time. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd be able to easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Hmm. Then the reason the strawberry hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Because we opened the grape hall door? Yep. When that happened, the grape, door, grape hall door didn't open because it was waiting for the strawberry hall door to close. If you think about that, it makes sense, right? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but are you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. You don't know? They're just lights. You lights, you dingus. By reflecting a colored light on a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color changed. Wait. Um... Maybe the door- maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. But when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. What? Fucking, you're just talking in circles, um, my dude. Right? I see. Hold on! Huh? Huh? There are countless sensors passed all over the tower's walls and floors. <gasps> Why can't you know? Because we're not robots, you dink. Hey, hey! Huh? I guess that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Mm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening, like there'd be at least something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Mm. Quite high performance. It seems like it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. 
I get it. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nekamaro? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But, but if you're in sleep mode, that function would continue to stop too. Come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Just saying. Stop oppressing him, shit birds. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Mm. Once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. You insolent fool! Yeah, it might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey! Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave the handbook here and we'll all move over to the strawberry tower. And if by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say the two towers are the same, right? Let's try it. So leave that behind. So, get in the elevator. Alright, let's see. Did you have I to- see. I see. It's like the Toad's war- it's like the Toad's war. Hey, hey! Hmm. Ah. Okay. So, Strawberry Tower is this way? All right, let's see. Where's this, uh... Hey, hey! Stay back! In the Sally of Evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go by four dark devas of destruction! What? Did you need to send a hamster to hit the button, my dude? What the fuck? It pressed the button. <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse! <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open! Wow! So you have appeared. Amazing! Th th thank you. <laughs> Gundam X Sonya. Alright, you know what? That's a ship I can get behind. I ship it. You didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. Am I planning to go to the next trial? No. No, because it, I, ima cause I imagine that it's not going to be for another hot minute. So. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, what's in here? Hey, and there's the e-handbook. My... It's there, the handbook! Yep. Yeah, it's no doubt, it's my student handbook. Huh? That's the handbook, Chucky Leather and Grape Tower is here, then that means. <laughs> seems we've confirmed it. It's the same room. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. Depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Interdasting. Huh? Yeah. Probably, yes, yeah, so that's, that's why. Two hours, my dude. That's, that's, that's how long I go for. Then that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to the grape house's grape hall. I mean, you could always just take it off its hinges and give yourself open access to both towers. You could always do that. Troubling. But it also means we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Guess that can't be helped. There's no way he'd actually make finding the exit that easy. <laughs> and I'm surprised I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. It's expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. I mean, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you suddenly... Fucking, I just want her to just fucking just... Instant transmission behind him and just drive a knife into his ribs. Like, keep talking shit, you get another one. Leave that in there as, as a reminder, and he just steps away. Okay, I'm going to take a nap now. <sighs> However... Why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil! There's probably no reason, simply because it's a fun house. It's all the reason Monokuma needs. Hmm. Who are you again? That's... That's bullying. <clears throat> Magic, whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Shushing! According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my... So Monokuma's not even bothering with the announcements Damn anymore. It. Monokuma appeared! 
Jared. Let me dance. Every single day up till now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on the island. Thanks, that you've been able to live a normal life. You guys. Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Hello. Oh, that's totally true. I'm pretty, but. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Hmm. The time being, the Monaco announcements are on hiatus. Can't go outside, and there's no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> I'll tell you thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. Is it a gunshot like just fired into someone's bedroom? Um, well, there's no announcers, so we can just trust Nekomaru. Um... Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clocks. There's no problem for me anyway. Uh, it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy. Hmm. So we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments. Um. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes. Man. That's a bummer, but I guess it makes- No co-ed dorms! This, too, must- Now then, let us begin! Um, Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at a red room is gonna strain my eyes. Oh! Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion! Hey. Also, each house has guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two shitty rooms? For now. You decide those. There are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Shoo! There's only one appropriate way to settle this. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, of course! Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys have begun, and the results... <laughs> of course you did, so I guess you get the deluxe room, you piece of shit. <laughs> so I take second place, that's fine, I was getting bored of always being on top. <gasps> you two will get a deluxe room, now then, regarding the third winner... <laughs> it's me, I'll be rusting in the sti- You are a robot, why don't you get the shit room? Damn right, man. Hey. Yep. Huh? It's not like that. It's too good for me. You guys may think it's pretty crappy. It's a palace compared to my house. Wait, so there's leftover rooms. Um. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh my. No, he super well... can. Um. Miss Sonia. There's leftover rooms, Kazuichi. Don't be a cunt. So. We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Kazuichi, you're just a fucking moron. Like... S thank you for correcting it, Jimmy. Well, no, the thing is, though, like, that's not even a snowflake thing. If anything, snowflakes are the ones that... If anything, snowflakes are the ones that fucking... that, that fucking refuse to differentiate them. The, the term gender was only made a synonym of sex by a fucking madman named, and I shit you not, Dr. Jonathan Money in the 1970s because he wanted he wanted to prove that sex and gender were either different or the same thing. I forget which. So, um, so he basically, he got two twin boys and convinced their parents to have one of them get their penis cut off because, um, he, he got his circumcision fucked up. And because of because of the work actions of a madman, it has completely removed the differentiation of psychological, psychological like expression, and actual like bi biology. And it's completely fucked everything up. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> hey. Yes. Hi, mm -hmm. you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard- No! Use the standard room, Hajime, you fucking spastic! Oh. Aw, oh, man. Hajime, do you not know what a fucking stand- what the fucking crummy room looks like? Jesus. Uh. Just as I thought, I was forgotten. <laughs> I'm used to it, after all. <laughs> Jesus. This is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. What do you mean? Um... See, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means the place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about petty shit. 
sleepy. So sleepy. Hey, it's Yaki. Uh, why don't we uh, double up? The deluxe rooms are the two rooms in the far back, right? It's okay if I go already. Yeah. Two rooms in the front of the crappy rooms, right? How's your mate? Use the room next to the lounge. Then. The standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. What is this game about? This is, um, did you not, uh, well, did you not see, um, the, the Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc LP I did? Because this is the sequel. It's about a bunch of ki a bunch of Japanese teenagers in a fucking death game. So, you know, family friendly. And she's not a virgin. She confirmed it. Yeah. Good night. Good night. The recent limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Good day. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Kinda, sorta, except that the only way off the island is for everyone to fucking murder each other. Yeah. I mean, you might want, you might want to. It's, it's, uh... It's actually a pretty good series. The second game is nowhere near as good as the first one, though. So, I mean, if you have, like, a shit ton of time to kill and you want something to play in the background, I recommend putting up uh, the Trigger Happy Havoc LP, because it's long. I should get some sleep, too. I think I was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge. Fucking stupid. I have a fucking... I'm a fucking, like, splinter or something, like, stuck in the side of my thumb. There we go. Yeah. 72, I think, was the final episode count, but the last two episodes were, like, like, the New Game Plus, so. This is a surprisingly shitty room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming in through the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be taking a thought that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. Everyone's gonna fucking die. Morse code. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. Sounds about right. Oh, yeah, that's that's another thing. That's... Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think that LP works better as something to play in the background, to be honest. Like, as a binge thing. Like, when it was coming out, like, that's something I could imagine people, like, sitting down and watching, but now, once it, now that it's done, I'm just like, oh, yeah, no, that'd be something people play in the background. It's morning already? Now there are no Monokuma announcements. I don't feel my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. Someone's already fucking dead. Someone is already dead. Let's see, the time is... 9 a.m. It's late and I'm used to waking up, but I guess it counts this morning. Now then, what am I gonna do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. It might be a good idea to just stay in my room and convert my energy. For fuck's sake. Okay, free time! Hooray! And there's a picture of the same guy. Izuru Kumakura. Alright. Welp. Let's see the standard room. Hey, there you go! Fucking, fucking congrats, my dude. Get fucking get well soon. Nah, there's no Monokuma in here. Damn it. Alright, well, with that... I'm gonna leave this off here, because we're, we're just about done now. So, thank you everybody for watching, those of you who watched live, and those of you watching on the VOD. If you are watching on the VOD, then hey, feel free to swing on by twitch.tv forward slash, I'm not gonna predict the, predict the survivors, because honestly, like, this game really loves just throwing everything to the fucking wind. You, uh, if you are watching on the VOD, then hey, make sure to hit that like, that comment, that favorite, that subscribe, and all that good shit. If you really love my content, you can always support me on Patreon, subscribe on Twitch, or fill up this cup and feed a dachi if you're here live. Hey everybody, as always, I am Nozvix. I'll see you 
in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a-round-up.